All right, I'm going to talk about subnet mask notation a little bit. There are two common notations you'll find. There is the dotted decimal or dotted quad, and there is the CIDR notation. Dotted decimal or dotted quad is a notation that was originally used with IP version 4. You'll find it's still used by a lot of a lot of machines, a lot of people use it. But there's a new format, the CIDR notation, which became pretty common when people decided to start looking at subnetting. But it's also used very heavily in IP version 6. So we're going to do some calculations and look at these. So let's look at a subnet mask. If you have a regular class C mask, it'd be 255.255.255. Each of these octets, or each of these quads, one of the quads, uh, is represented in eight bits. So are eight bits each. An IP address in IP version four is 32 bits. So each one of these is eight. So you got eight and eight and eight and eight. You add them up with plus and you get to a total of 30 two bits. So this is the standard dotted quad notation. Now when we use CIDR notation what we're doing is we're trying to identify how many bits from this mask right here are ones because we have a series of ones followed by zeros. So if we convert this to binary 255 is eight ones. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a little dot. Then we have eight more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have a dot. We have eight more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the zero converts to eight zeros. So we have zero, 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 zero. So, if we want to convert this to CIDR notation, all we need to do is count up the number of ones and see how many I have. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 22, 23, 24. So this becomes a slash 24 address. Now masks are always followed by a series of ones, or a series of ones followed by a series of zeros. You never have zeros mixed in with the ones or ones mixed in with the zeros. It's always ones, then zeros. It's possible you could have all ones or all zeros, in which case you won't have anything followed by the other one. But usually you have a series of ones followed by a series of zeros. But you never have them mixed. <clears throat> and this makes it easy to do this CIDR notation. So what are the numbers you can see? Well, we see a 255 and we see a zero as possible numbers in the dotted quad. But what other options do we have? If we have like four ones and four zeros, then what does that make? So let's look at what, what possible numbers we can have in our dotted quad or dotted decimal number. So the numbers you can see, you can either have zero, 128, 192, 224, 240, 248, 252, 254, and 255. So there are a total of nine different numbers you can have. And what they are in binary representations, you can see wh why I use these numbers, is you have eight zeros right here, which may go as zero, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one, 128, is a one followed by seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is two ones 
followed by six zeros. This one is three ones, followed by five zeros. This one is four ones, followed by four zeros. So you can see how this is going, right? As you can see, as you can guess, this is a five ones, followed by three zeros. This would be six ones, followed by two zeros. Seven ones, followed by a zero. And this one is eight ones, which is the one we had there earlier. So you can remember these is there's zero, it's one, it's two, three ones, four ones, five ones, six ones, seven ones, and eight ones. All right. So let's just try to remember these numbers for a moment. It's going to be kind of tough. As I erase this, so you can memorize that. Okay, it's all memorized. Okay. Now let's go to a number. Let's say we have an IP address or a mask of 255.255.240.0. Now I figure out, well, what is this inside rotation? Well, we know that the 255 was eight ones. And this 255 is also eight ones. And the 240, well, if you remember from our little table we created, this is four ones, and this is zero ones. So we add them up, and you have eight plus eight plus four is 20. So this would be a slash 20 inside notation. All right, that was pretty easy. Let's try another one. So now we try Two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two fifty two. This is actually a pretty common network um, mask or subnet mask for um, networks that have exactly two hosts, which would be usually a router, two routers connected to each other. So this first two five five is. Eight, 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 and the last one is, if we can remember back, it, it was six. So add them up. Eight plus eight plus six is 30. So we would say this is a slash 30 network. All right, so that's nice. Let's go look at covering the other direction. Let's say I tell you I have a slash 12. Well, what's a slash 12? Well, let's see. 12 is made up of 8 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0. So it would be a 255 dot 2. 40.0.0. So you can cover it that way. Just remember which one's which. Let's try another one. Let's do a slash 27. Well, that would be equal to a, an 8 plus an 8 plus another 8. I guess it's 24. And we have three more to get to 27. So we'd have a 255.255.255.224 as our dotted quad mask. So you can see how we can convert both ways, and this is how we do subnet mask notation.